Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today, Sue and myself are going to be talking about mental toughness. <laughs> this topic is something, actually, there's nothing really in life where one doesn't need this to some degree. And the beautiful thing is, is that it's something that you can develop it's not like your IQ, it's not something you're born with, but it's something you can develop. So that's why I thought it'd be quite interesting to talk about this today, because I'm sure for a lot of us, we have that negative self-talk with our limiting beliefs. Yeah, and, and we succumb to a lot of, yeah, a lot of, of negative narratives, as you say. So, um, yeah, I think I love that idea that you can just build it like a muscle. You can, and one of the points is regulating your emotions. And I have to say yesterday, unfortunately, actually a few times this week, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't regulate my emotions. You know, I was feeling angry and that's how I behaved and I was feeling frustrated and that's how I behaved and I owned it. Apologize mm. to the various people on route, but regulating emotions is so powerful, but not easy. I don't know how you are with that. Yeah, it's, it's a, 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 a definitely an ongoing journey, I would say. Um, you know, some instances are easier than others. Um, you know, sometimes the emotion comes and it's very extreme and there's really very little that you can do to create that space between that says, okay, well, how, how should I be now? As opposed to, let's just be. Yes. Um, what is Susan David? She always says it's a it's not an instruction, it's just data. The, the emotion is just data. You don't have to go and <laughs> do what it says. Yeah. Um, so yeah. But I think I think again, to think of that as a journey and to also not be self-critical, you know, really down on yourself about not being able to do it. Because it is, this is this is hard work, this stuff. This is this is not. Not an easy, oh, I know it, and therefore I can do it kind of um, idea. No. And the next one is taking positive action. And one of the things that somebody spoke about in one of the TED Talks was one of the ways to build your mental toughness is to take cold showers. And for people who love cold showers, I don't know if it really counts, because the idea being every single day for two weeks, you have a cold shower for a period of time, just by doing that, it actually works on your mental toughness. And I don't know if you do things, I know with myself, maybe it's weekly, maybe it's bi-weekly, but I will do various things where I put myself in a very challenging situation for me, because then mm. I go, okay, okay, that, 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 that worked out. So then I can take it a bit, a bit more. And taking that action, Mm. It's very constructive. Mm. I mean, it's an interesting metaphor. I don't know about the cold showers, but um, you know, to be on the edge of of discomfort, I think, is um, is quite liberating. To sort of notice yourself being there and thinking, okay, this is super uncomfortable, mm. and then to just take a breath and uh, lean into it and just go for it. You know, I think that that if you can find opportunities to do that around it's often around things that are new and uncertain and you know potentially have judgment involved from self or others um yeah so i think that that that, that edge is 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 a is a really lacquer one to play with yeah and also to identify your worst habit and i i do believe to some degree we do all know what they are and and if we don't possibly to ask somebody who's in our lives or through getting a coach or somehow to figure out what those habit or that habit, maybe it's one, maybe it's a few, I don't know. But once you know what the habit is, it makes it a lot easier to be present, to then take the action to then empower yourself. Mm. That's a beautiful invitation to actually just to know it you know, to actually say, okay, this is something I really am not so good at, or I really find myself repeating again and again that isn't serving me. And so how do I, what do I want to do about that? 
because you know immediately once you know it you can you can start to take as you say a small positive action and it through that that will regulate your thought pattern because that self-talk and that conversation we have with ourselves in judgment in criticism in all sorts of things is is just generally not very positive so if we can regulate those thoughts and be more mindful about what we're thinking or feeling in that moment it kind of puts it all into perspective as well mm. Yeah, the important word there is probably the mindfulness. You know, I find that the the, the practice of of meditation and mindfulness is the is the one that that, that builds the muscle around that mm. that noticing and that awareness. And only then can I personally. Do I think you can sort of work with what's going on when you've got a little bit of space and are used to just being the observer rather than always in things. And and maybe even in a an observer from a distance um you know so helping to get to to get a bit of perspective on things um, also something we use a lot in coaching and and also being able to accept failure and it's it's such a it's such a thing failure because i know for myself when something doesn't work out i would love to say i'm just like oh, whatever it's fine but I don't deep down feel that when it doesn't work out, you know, I'll spend, I don't know the time frame, but I will spend a while kind of going, really, what were you thinking? Why did you do that? And being quite hard on myself as opposed to going, if everything I tried succeeded, cheapers, I think I'd make history because that's, it's unheard of, you know, you're going to fail a lot more than you're going to succeed. And that's part of the journey. And especially for people like you and, you and me that we work for ourselves. So working for yourself, you're really figuring things out as you go along and doing the best you can. Yeah. I mean, it is such a, you're so right. You know, we, we know that if you have a growth mindset, you know, you've got to think about, well, this is a learning process. But there are times when, when it is quite hard and I have to catch myself getting down, you know, and saying, you know, because immediately the narrative will come up, you know, you're not good enough. This is too hard. This is not for you you know and so so being disciplined about the first noticing and then being disciplined about that and saying okay that can go in its box i know what that is you know and then back to the work of saying right you know what can i learn here and i think i certainly uh, am noticing for myself just from a also from an agile thinking perspective just how how great it is to be able to have the tools to go okay do a little retrospective what was you know what happened there you know what went well what didn't go so well you know so what pieces would i want to change or you know what can i learn from that okay let's iterate and move forward because there really is nothing else there really is uh, and nothing that, else and that rewarding that's you know that yeah. well done you did well there that was really good i'm proud of you <laughs> yourself so Focusing on the on the work that you've done and the and that you tried, that you put yourself out there, that you did something, rather than just the outcome, because the outcome so often is not in our control. No. And that ties into if you believe everything is about ability, then you're going to give up. But if you believe it's about effort, then you'll face the challenge, which is very important. Because mm. that kind of you don't want to limit yourself to something not working out and thinking, okay, well, that's it, I'm a failure, whatever. Well, no, maybe it was just that thing at that time, but there is so much more out there. And, and there is so much to read, uh, listen to, getting a coach, speaking to a friend, whatever, whatever works for you. But there are so many ways to work on this. My belief is, if you don't work on this, life is a lot harder because things generally don't work out the way that you imagine, or maybe just for me, the way I imagine them to. Unfortunately, there's all these little surprises along the way. Yep, I think that's uh, exactly that. <laughs> 
So that's what we wanted to share with you today about mental toughness. And we wish you uh, the rest of a good week and afternoon and see you soon. Bye.